Today we're going to find out what NFL team's wide receiver and DB duo will reign supreme with an imperialism like never seen before. The wheel spin will represent an attacking team who will now be on offense and the arrow will be the defending team. From here there will be a wide receiver versus DB one on one and whoever wins their matchup will take the land of the opposing team. Sorry Jax, you didn't even make it out of the intro. You get the point though, we're going to keep going until there is only one duo left crowning themselves as champions. Wheel spin number two is going to get us the Raiders. And the arrow will land on. Oh, that looks like Arizona Cardinals. This is a very good receiver versus a not so good corner. Scorched them. And the Raiders have just taken over a nice chunk of land. Next team, who's it gonna be? The Texans. We're going to get a West. Oh, I thought you said West. That's gotta be the Dallas Cowboys. Here we go on offense, Tank Dell. On defense, Stephon Gilmore. Don't forget, there is an ability on defense and not one on offense. So that wasn't even fair. Stephon Gilmore also rubbing it in, making sure the Texans know who own their state. This is gonna be what, team number four here? We're rolling with the 49ers and the arrow for defense will be north. Well, we all know who that's gonna be. This is maybe the best matchup that we have yet. Tariq Woolen versus Debo Samuel and Debo Scorches. This granted San Francisco a huge spot in the northwest part of the US map. After that, we had Jets v Giants and Garrett Wilson came up huge, followed up by Devontae Adams yet again, getting his team a third of California. George Pickens took advantage of an absent Tredavious White. Jair helped his Packers move on from an incredibly tough matchup. And then Russell Wilson fit in maybe the best pass that you will ever see with blanket coverage to help the Broncos take the Chiefs territory. Here we are, people. This is a look at our current map after making some progress. Our wheel is already looking a lot less full. Hold on. Wait a second. We got the Bengals' Jamar Chase. See, it helps the Bengals so much to have their offense out on the field and not their defense. Gotta be strong on both sides of the ball or things just aren't gonna end up going your way eventually. That'll be south. We'll take on the Titans. We have a 93 overall X factor First, an 80 overall corner. This, I tell you what, will be one Cinderella story. He couldn't even press him. There was no chance. And look at what the Bengals are picking up. Our next team, the Ravens. I'm sure they'd rather have their defense out in the field, but here goes nothing. West will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Two veterans. Odell versus Patrick Peterson. There's kind of claims, but he beat him. Oh, oh, Patrick Peterson. I tell you what, I didn't expect the Steelers to win anything. And so far, they've done it on both sides of the ball. We got the Browns. Dang, and anything east, and this is going to be the Steelers again. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Back-to-back -back rivalry matchups. Cooper has crushed the Steelers in years past. What the heck is going on? This shouldn't be happening, but I am all for it. Sure, Cleveland. We'll take this little chunk. Look at that map. Please, let's get something on the West Coast. Okay. Oh, wow. We got the arrow pointing east. That's got to be Green Bay. Oh, man. And here it was. X-Factor Justin Jefferson versus X-Factor Jair Alexander. Here it is. The moment we've all been waiting for. The ball is Oh, how did he catch that? That looked like perfect defense. Let's fill in some land for Minnesota. Tyreek Hill ended up being too good for Jamel Dean, granting the Dolphins all of Florida. Followed up by some back-to-back -back great defense, starting with the Commanders and also the Dallas Cowboys yet again, giving us a brand new look at the map that is sitting here in front of us. You know, you look at somebody like the New England Patriots, they haven't seen a single matchup yet. Let's see who the wheel grants us, though. It'll be the Commanders again. Arrow's gonna drop on a little south. That will be AJ Terrell and the Falcons. This is a good matchup. And we're gonna have one jump ball to decide it all. It is up there. Oh, AJ Terrell, huge defense. It is time for another team. The Rams, their first shot at being up. The directional arrow will be pointing a little southeast. Oh, wow. That's the only direction it could have been facing to not play the Raiders. So far, players with an ability have reigned supreme. Oh, just Cooper Cup just boxed out Asante Samuel. It doesn't get much easier than that. And there you go. But you are surrounded by a sea of Raiders nation. There is no way out of here unless if you take them on head to head. Up next, the Bengals with an arrow pointing in the direction of northeast. Here we go again. Patrick Peterson, to be fair, has been pretty great so far. Hoping for the jump ball. Come on, Pat. Come on, Pat. Oh, he came back. Play defense. No way is this happening. And look at the land 
that Pittsburgh's picking up here. There we go. This is definitely the Cinderella team of the tournament so far. Our next NFL team, Chicago. They will be headed north. Uh-oh. Division rivalry, and it's not up to Justin Jefferson. Dude, this is where the Vikings might fail because their second there is so iffy. Oh, man, this is very interesting. Byron Murphy on DJ Moore. <laughs> The ball's up in the air. Oh, the height advantage. The superstar from DJ Moore didn't matter. That might've been the first time we've seen that happen this whole tournament. Congrats on the land, Minnesota. We're really dwindling down. Only 12 NFL teams left. Out of those 12, three of them have yet to play a matchup. But maybe we will get one of them here. Broncos. Denver's gonna be headed south. That will most definitely be the Dallas Cowboys. And just like that, Cortland Sutton and Stephon Gilmore were let loose. How the heck is this gonna go? down. I'm throwing it up high. It's back of the end zone. <gasps> Cortland Sutton did it again. Russell Wilson, dude. These throws from him, insane. Another non-ability player beating out a superstar. Nice little upset there, that's for sure. Look at all the land Denver just acquired. Wow, I tell you what, I, I mean, you gotta think about it this way. They are definitely a huge target to be hit for another matchup. After that, we're going to the Rams. Literally the only team they can play is the Raiders, so we're not even gonna do the spin. Around me are familiar faces. Okay, here we go. He's kind of locking up, waiting for that jump ball. It's there, one-on-one. -on -one. He jumped in front of him and got a pick. Just eliminated Cooper Cup. These players with abilities are going down. So more land for the Raiders, earning every bit of it. This is starting to look pretty insane. Our next NFL squad, the Raiders again. The air is going to have to be pointing east somehow. There it is. Wow. Whoever wins this takes over half of the United States. This right here was by far a matchup that we've all been waiting for. Two of the best going at it, 1v1, head to head. Devontae caught it and he had an extra man on him. Hey, I gotta give it to him. That was just more difficult at that point. There are now so many teams, if they get West, they're getting this matchup. Let's run it, wheel spinning again. And we get the Patriots for the first time. Now, looking at the map, they're going to have to take on the Jets no matter what. So we got a Sauce Gardner matchup. Gardner ended up locking down, granting the Jets some more territory. Justin Jefferson further helped Minnesota by getting a Moss taking over the Colts' land. We're on to our next wheel spin, and TJ's here. So he's going to give it a spin for a change. Oh, the Eagles. First time they've showed up all tournament. AJ Brown. The direction. They will be going east. We're taking on the Jets. The matchup is set. Sauce pressing up. Here we go. We're waiting for the jump ball. We're sending it. And... Oh, AJ Brown! That would have been the greatest catch of this entire tournament. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. He went one hand shebang. No kick. Oh, oh my. He said what X factor, Sauce? Oh, one X -factor. oh, oh man. Ankles. I'm going to make a bold prediction and say they win the entire thing. We are going to fill in the Jets. Final seven. The Falcons are up. Oh, we're going northeast. Oh, no way, dude. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Eagles, but the Steelers have this area. Drake London. I mean, come on. The guys Patrick Peterson has locked down so far has been so much better. Oh, no. He's behind them. Oh, why? Why has it got to work like that? We got to be fair here. That is some serious real estate. It's free real estate. Ah, uh, that is rather annoying, you know? We are now down to our final five teams as this wheel spin. Tyreek Hill gets his second shot for Miami. And it's either going to be the Raiders or Atlanta. It's going to be Atlanta again. This right here is a pretty good matchup. Oh, yeah, real quick. Before we set the final four, I was thinking of doing this again. But every time a receiver or corner gets a stop, they get a plus one upgrade. I think that'd be a really sick way to do things. So if you want that, let me know in the comments or let me know by just dropping a like on this video. And here we go. Go. The jump ball. AJ's got to get there. Oh, he came through with the pick. That was disgusting, AJ. Oh, man. Very impressive, Atlanta. Good for you guys. This is our final four map. Who's your money on it? Who you got here? We all know nobody on this wheel wants to get landed on. But then again, okay, you see what I'm saying? Like, Falcons probably would have preferred defense, but Drake London is going to be heading his talents west to take on the Raiders. This is crazy. Both teams putting out their weaker players here. We got Marcus Peters, Drake London, ball in the air. Drake London comes up big with the catch. Using that huge frame, Atlanta Falcons looking at a final three bid. Well, here's our new map. Our offense 
will be Justin Jefferson. Uh-oh. Hey, no matter what he gets here, he's going to be going up against a pretty good corner. We got AJ Terrell versus Justin Jefferson. I couldn't even imagine what it would be like to be a Falcons or Vikings fan right now. But this is for the championship game. Ball in air. AJ Terrell plays defense and gets a stop to move his boys through. This wheel spin right here is going to decide who gets offense. It's going to come down to Drake London versus Derek. Darius Slay. Here we go. The ball is up. This is for everything. Big play, Slay. Gets it done for Philadelphia. Congratulations, Philly. You are our imperialism champions. Oh, almost forgot about that. By the way, if you made it this far, please subscribe. Oh.